Thanks for fun here. Finally got an opportunity to get out for a couple days and I'm doing a little landscape photography trip here. Been talking to a really nice guy at the Best Buy in Buckhead, Georgia named Alan Schuler. Thanks, Alan. He suggested this place up in North Carolina. Highway 64 is this really scenic route that just kind of goes from west to east across the whole state. And on the west side of North Carolina, there are many, many waterfalls. So I figure I'm gonna do a little tour of the waterfalls and try to get some kind of pretty cool shot for each one. I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go up where 64 picks up. And what they do is they start this waterfall listing along 64 and they start at mile zero, they started at Franklin. So Franklin is mile zero. And the very first waterfall that they recommend to go to is the one just outside of Highlands, North Carolina called Dry Falls. And they call it that, it's a 75 foot waterfall but it scoots out over a walkway, so you can actually walk safely behind it without getting wet, thus the name Dry Fall. I'm, I'm used to being around the Chattahoochee Forest and some of the other areas up in the North Georgia Mountains, but I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. Plus, I got a, I got a new landscape photography camera. I'm really interested to, to try out my... <sighs> I don't have any, I was gonna say try out my skills, but I don't, this is gonna be a first. So I have never done the long exposure type photography with ND filters and such. I've played with it, but I'm gonna take you with me on that journey because it's gonna be a learning journey. And maybe if you're interested in that same kind of thing, you'll see what, what I did right, what I did wrong, probably a lot of wrongs, but I'll try to point out where I do it wrong and what ended up being the solution. I do have good gear. I sold my, I sold my go away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wasn't using my motorcycle much. So anyway, I, I've taken the funds from that and I've invested it in some camera gear. I really hope we can find a trail where I can actually hike out somewhere and, and put up in the woods, but I don't know. I just you know I, I, I needed to get out there and I need so much practice on this new equipment. So bear with me, we'll get it, we'll dial it in and I'll take your feedback and we'll kind of tweak the, the whole program as we go. All right, let's get on, let's go. Finally got to Dry Falls, heading on down there now. Apparently there's a long walk down the uh, stairs, but nothing like a hike, right? So, whoa, okay, you gotta see this. Holy crap. Man, I cannot get over that thing. Wow. All right, let's get down there and get some landscape shots. Whew. <clears throat> I still gotta find a place to stay tonight. <laughs> Looks like all the parks are closed. Of course, I guess it's that time of year. Like I said, I didn't have any time to research this guy, so I'm not as prepared as I normally am on least location. Holy cow. I don't know if you can see that behind me. Just wow. All right, we're making our way, and I tell you, it is impressive. I just gotta show you this. What? Looks like more than 75 feet to me, but I wasn't out here with my tape measure, so. As I walk behind these falls, time stands still as if to stall. The passing of time and things to do, though I do want to return to you. I watch in awe as the water crashes down. My happiness was lost, but now it is found. Oh, the view is amazing behind these falls and walking along the rock lined walls. The 
the sound is in tune with the beat of my heart. It can lull me to sleep just before I depart. behind this thing, but we'll see. All right, you got to see this. Is that not crazy or what? down there a good bit too. I apologize if you can't hear me, but man is it loud. Holy cow. Alright, let's go under this thing. Holy cow. I cannot describe what this is like. gimbal and the camera are waterproof because it is getting wet back here so I'd say it's somewhat dry falls <laughs> gotta watch where I'm walking you what, that is something impressive. This first photo I tried a long exposure with my ND filter at four stops. However it was very windy that day and the waterfall created its own wind that affected the foliage near it. So in the 3.2 seconds I had the shutter open, it captured a lot of movement in the leaves creating a blurring effect. Also, the vantage point on that side of the falls was overgrown, and there were several elements in the shot I did not like. Down around the falls, the vegetation was mostly variations of green, with most of the color being on the top. I love the one tree with the yellow leaves that silhouetted against the falls, which is why I tried that shot. The falls were framed on the right thirds, with the fencing leading you from the left towards the falls. With the second photo, I did a faster shutter speed at a slower aperture and had to increase the ISO up to 800 to get the exposure right. I shoot my photos at 4 to 3 ratio in RAW and use the flat color profile S-Log2, which can get me up to 14 stops of dynamic range. This comes in very handy when it is dark out, like it was during the shoot. However, when shooting in S-Log2, you want to overexpose by 2 which means your zebras are not accurate and the histogram may not tell you the accurate store of your exposure. I adjusted this composure slightly to the right to remove more of the leafless tree that dominated the left side of the last photo. All right guys, I'm wrapping up on this spot. There's another vantage spot on the way down. I just wanted to see what was around the corner before I didn't, got too much invested in that one spot. So I'm pretty sure that 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 spot over there is just pretty spot on too. First, I changed the orientation of the camera for portraits and took two separate photos. 
The one on the left is a lung exposure using a four-stop ND filter to smooth out the water, where the photo on the right was shot with a faster exposure with no filters to freeze the water. The other differences is the photo on the right was shot flat in S-Log2 at the fastest aperture on my G Master lens, f2.8. This lets in a lot more light. Even with the aperture wide open, I had to increase the ISO to 6400 to compensate the exposure because it was so dark out. On the last photo, I went back to landscape orientation to change the composition. I wanted to include that yellow leaf tree in the bottom right, yet still include some of the color from the foliage at the top and setting the falls in the left thirds of the frame. I used a six stop ND filter to hold open the shutter for four seconds while still at ISO 100 at an aperture of f11. Due to the four second exposure, there's quite a bit of motion blur in the yellow leaf tree at the bottom right. But that does tell the story of how windy it was that day. I'm done here. I got a couple great shots, I think. And I'm gonna head back down 64 and see if I can find somewhere safe for the night. I know there's some campgrounds, but it's actually quite dark out. I don't know if um, you can tell on the camera or not, but. Uh, I might have to look for a motel or hotel again tonight. Though I'm not exactly sure what's on 64. I might have to, actually I might just go back into Franklin. I think I just waited too long. Was not able to get in my hammock at all on this trip. So I had to go to another hotel. Uh, and, I, and again, I didn't have any time to plan for this trip. So I apologize about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Hanks for fun, signing off. Remember to hang your own hang, and as always, happy hanging. As I was going over that fair fit Gary Mountain, I met with Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. I first produced my pistol and then produced my rapier. Said stand and deliver for I am a bold deceiver. Push your ring, dum a doo, dum a da. Whack for the daddy o, whack for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. I counted out me money and it made a pretty penny. I put it in me pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She said and she swore she would never deceive me. But the devil take those women for they never can be easy. Mushy ring, dum a doo, dum a da. Whack for the daddy o. Whack for the. That's it. I ain't got no more.